Hi everyone, hope you're doing well today. Today I wanna share with you this really wonderful grill brush. Uh, super, super happy with this, guys. So what I love about it, it has a really nice, um, soft but coarse pad. So it's not like those bristle brushes that, um, honestly, they kind of melt when you use them because they drop down near your flame. This one is a really nice padded surface, okay? Um, so even though it's like a soft squish type of pad, it has the hard um, edge to it to scrape off um, all the grossness that our grills collect. Um, so it also has a really nice sharp scraping edge up here. So careful when you do get yours. Love the wooden handle. It is so incredibly comfortable to use. I have small hands, so I like that it's not one of those big bulky ones. And then when I'm done using it, guys, we have a nice hook. Um, we have magnetic hooks on our grill. Um, so I like that I can just hang it and never lose it, which is wonderful. Um, a really nice feature of this as well, it does come with a second pad, which is really great. So you do get two of them here. I'll bring it in close so you can see, okay? And the second one does come with a second set of screws um, for replacement purposes. Take these ones out if they're rusty at all um, or anything's wrong with them, you lose one, you do have extra ones. So look how nice and shiny, okay? Um, so cleaning the grill, I just got some ice cold water here. Um, my grill is up, what does that say? We're um, at about 400 right now, okay? All right guys, so if you can see, take a look over here. Um, most grills are a little uneven, so we tend to cook everything on this side. Turn this down a smidge, it's hot and it's hot out here today. So um, we just had barbecue chicken, one of the best things to eat, but worse to cook on a grill. Um, so all I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna dip my brush in the water. Give it a nice, easy scrub. And you guys, if you can see this right now, you are is as amazed as I am. Hardly any scrubbing. I'm using my left arm guys, and everything is just falling off. So it does give it a really nice little steam clean here. which I really love. Get all that gunk off so it's not dripping down into the burners. It'll go right into the grease trap. Now, um, I do have a little bit that's stuck behind there. We're just gonna scrape that through. Use that scraping edge in here. That's beautiful. Look at that, that's gross. <laughs> Well, I did have nice clean water. Now it's pretty, pretty gross. So easy, you guys, this is so easy to use. stubborn stuck on stuff right there. Oh. A little scrape in between there. Nice. This is really, really wonderful. Love that. Gross. All right, guys, I am really thoroughly impressed with how well that cleaned. Look at that. You can see some of the gunk there on the back. 
hope I can show you the water. Okay, you guys can see that yellow gross tinge to it. That was all over the grill. In the matter of seconds, I now have a beautifully clean grill to cook dinner on again tonight. Guys, this is really great. I love this. This was really, really nice. This nice, easy pad to use here. Soak it in cold water, throw it up there. It gives it a really nice steam and it's virtually no scrubbing. So guys, enjoy yours. Thanks for watching and have a great day.